It is a story now getting national attention. Less than an hour from now, a rally is planned outside Palmdale City Hall where a young black man was found hanging from a tree. Friends and family of 24-year-old Robert Fuller are expected to gather at 11 o'clock. His body was found early Wednesday morning and investigators initially called his death a suicide. A full autopsy is expected. But at a packed city council meeting yesterday, many people demanded answers. There's a lot of unanswered questions. We can't speculate, okay? So my commitment to you and our city's commitment to you and the sheriff's department's commitment to you is when we have more information, we will be 100% transparent. Several celebrities are now weighing in on this, including Kim Kardashian West and Clipper star, star Paul George, who is from the area. They both asked their followers to sign a petition calling Once for... Once again, family, I am back to making this type of video. I really don't want to. I don't like making these videos, but I owe it to my community to say something and speak out. And all the knowledge that I have to share, I'm definitely going to share it. I am saddened by this news of Robert Fuller's death. I can't believe that he was found hanging from a tree. I just, I think that there's a lot of things that's wrong with this entire story. And I'm definitely glad that there was a petition, petition that went around that allowed for a full investigation to take place because it's kind of a strange place to kill yourself in front of a city hall building. But let's just get into some, some specifics really quick. So you have Robert Fuller, of course, everybody knows now he was found hanging from a tree in Palmdale right in front of Palmdale City Hall. He was 24 years old and this happened June 10th. So that was about four days ago from this video. So in the last four days, this has happened. And in four days, they already closed it out, ruling it a suicide. Now, I don't know about you, but in four days, they already closed out a case. Isn't there an entire show called The First 48 where in the, that's two days that they take just to even try to figure out things in the story. And you're telling me in four days, you figured out this whole thing behind Robert Fuller and how he died? I don't know about that. Something seems a little suspect. Another thing that I think is really interesting is that there's no video that came forward or anything like that. We live in an age where everything is recorded. Everything. People have all their cameras more than any time in the world than right now, especially right now with all the social unrest that's going on, the rioting, the protesting, some places even looting. So I don't I find it really hard to believe that nobody has any video evidence of anything from that night. They can't catch any views off of the street cameras because I know that if Robert Fuller would have killed somebody, they definitely would have had a, a camera somewhere around that would have caught the whole thing. So why is there not a camera around that caught all this? Now, I know I'm making this video four days later, and I know that the investigation just took place today. They just announced it that they will be doing that yesterday. I'm sorry. They announced it yesterday that they will be doing the full, full investigation. But I'm just curious to know if there's going to be some type of footage of an altercation or an incident or something because it's, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Just it, It's such a strange place to take your life. And then the fact that he didn't leave a note or anything, If you even if he did commit suicide, what is the point of committing suicide in front of a city hall building, especially right now in the middle of everything that's going on in this country? Why wouldn't you leave a note? Because you want people to see, you want people to see what your message is, right? If you, by you hanging yourself in front of a city hall building, committing a quote unquote suicide, How do you how do people know that the message that you're trying to deliver is going to get conveyed if you don't actually leave a message? So I think that's a little strange too, the fact that there is no message or suicide note left in front of City Hall. It's just really a strange place to kill yourself. I mean, I don't know personally. I've never battled through suicide. So if you have, you know, this is definitely not a post to bash you or anything. It's just I don't understand why he would commit suicide in a public place in front of a city hall building. So I'm definitely on the lookout for more of this story that will unfold. But honestly, with this story, I have more questions than I do answers. It's not I'm not really going to go into the whole Robert Fuller investigation because there's not enough information out there. I'm definitely not going to dig up his past like your girl Candace Owens. I'm not going to talk bad about him like Brandon Tatum. I'm not going to do any of that. All I'm saying is that we don't have enough evidence to make any type of decision, any type of judgment. But what I do know is that lynching is very real it happened back in the day in the 1900s and it happened in 2020 so that is definitely something that i want to talk about because i am beyond upset about the way that he died now i'm not saying somebody lynched him but all i'm saying is that if somebody lynched him are you freaking kidding me are you kidding me check this out President Trump invoked lynching today when talking about the constitutionally protected impeachment inquiry. He said, quote, 
All Republicans must remember what they are witnessing here, a lynching. Let's be clear. Lynchings were terrorism, plain and simple, slaughter used to testify to terrify African-Americans and prop up white people's hold on power. More than 4,000 African-Americans were lynched from 1877 to 1950. That's according to the Equal Justice Initiative called Lynching in America. I say at least because many lynchings were never recorded. Note the end date here, 1950. Lynching is part of many living Americans' experience. There are more than 40 million African Americans living in America. All right, so we got the little brief history lesson real quick on lynching for those of you who don't know, but of course everyone knows this, right? Trump just made a mockery of it back in October of last year, but okay. So let's talk about the anti-lynching bill. When did it take place? Well, it actually took place in 1900 when it was proposed, and it was proposed by a black Republican by the name of George Henry Wright. George Henry White. You guys can look him up for short because he's someone that is very influential in our community. So George Henry Wright proposed this bill and of course it was rejected. We can say that it was rejected because he was a black man trying to propose a bill to an all white Congress. Sure, that's a factor. We can say that on the other side it was rejected because the bill was vague. Sure, that's a factor too. The point remains the same is that this, ans this anti-lynching bill was rejected. And it was rejected based off of the fact that the Southern Democrats were saying that lynching was taking place because they were stopping black people from committing heinous crimes against their white women. Talk about right. Talk about writing for your women, right? The white man was lynching black men because they were allegedly raping their women or looking at them wrong or whistling at them or whatever the case is. That's extreme, right? So the NAACP in 1919 came out with a te uh, they basically disproved what the Southern Democrats were saying that all lynches based on crimes against white women. That's not true. They came out with facts and statistics that disproved this theory. Okay, now again, it's proposed before Congress, before everybody. It still doesn't pass. But now it doesn't pass with a little different, with a twist to it. We have Dyer there. Now it's called the Dyer anti-lynching bill. Dyer is a white man a white Republican who was responsible for overseeing the black Republicans. So you have a white Republican responsible for see overseeing the black Republicans within the Republican Party. Dyer was so moved by this and upset, obviously, he decided to put his name on the bill and try and get it to pass. For three years, this bill did not pass from 1922, 1923, and 1924. Now you could say the bill remained null and you know nobody tried to do anything with it but that's just not the case because you have at least four different presidents from let me think mckinley before he was assassinated um in 1901 he definitely tried to pass the anti-lynching bill who else do we have we have wilson we have roosevelt we have harding as well um and we have the other roosevelt so we have all of these presidents who are trying to pass this anti-lynching bill and still it's getting blocked but my question is why is it getting blocked hmm Okay, so now let's fast forward. We're out of the 1900s, we're out of the Jim Crow era. Now we're in 2020. 2020, right now, current times. Robert Fuller was found hanging from a tree in front of City Hall. What's in front of City Hall? What's what's going before City Hall right now? What is Senator Kamala Harris, Booker, uh, Cory Booker upset about? The anti-lynching bill that hasn't passed. I don't know, it's, it seems like a statement to me. You can call this a conspiracy video if you like, that's fine. But it just things are not adding up with Robert Fuller's death. So in 2020, they changed their, they're wanting to change the name, they being the, the senators who proposed this bill, Harris, Booker, and I forget the other one, his name is not coming up in my head, I apologize you guys. You guys can definitely go and look it up though. Um, they wanna change the name to the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act. Now everyone knows the story of Emmett Till and if you don't know the story of Emmett Till, I suggest you use YouTube right now to go and search Emmett Till and then come back to this video. But Emmett Till was a black man who was accused of a horrible crime against a white woman and his death was horrendous, atrocious, disgusting, the most animalistic thing you could do. Well, I guess now outside of George Floyd with the knee on his um, neck, very animalistic in the same manner, but just a little bit worse. And he, and to get away with it at the time because lynching was not illegal, right? So this new bill, Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act in 2020, it has federal responsibility 
to protect against it. That's one argument that they're making. It is the federal government's job to protect people against lynching. You agree or disagree, that's up to you. Definitely drop a comment right now. Make sure you hit the like button. Uh, what else does it have? It has the... Uh, it basically, they want an apology in this in this Emmett Till anti-lynching bill for all of the wrongs that were done. They want an apology because the, what the apology means is recognition. It means that if you apologize for your behavior, it means that you are aware of what you did, you are aware of the after effects of what you did, and you are ready to have a healthy and open dialogue to talk about progress moving forward. Now, I don't know exactly how we can have progress moving forward if we're not even anti-lynching is not it's not effect it doesn't work it's not here it's still we still lynching is still legal i mean obviously it's illegal in the sense but in the sense of this bill right here the emmett till anti-lynching act that they're asking about it is still legal in this sense right here i'm not saying lynching is legal it's been illegal for the last decade or so i believe maybe 10 or 11 years now but in this sense right here it's very vague the definition is vague of what they want the punishment is vague of what they want and it goes against some of it goes against the rhetoric in the previous bill the dire anti-lynching bill now we have one senator who's blocking this bill senator of kentucky Rand paul now everybody's coming after Rand paul Rand paul this and Rand paul that check this out a video of what Rand paul said the senator for kentucky I think it's important to know and to let the record show that I've been working with Senator Booker's office for three months on the amendment to this bill, that I'm willing to have unanimous passage of the bill today. But I think it's incredibly important that we get this right. A woman in New Jersey, a black woman in New Jersey, assaulted three Jewish women and slapped them. It was terrible, and she uttered racial epithets about these Jewish women. She was charged with third-degree misdemeanor assault up to a year in prison, which actually sounds to me pretty significant for slapping. But she was then charged with a hate crime in addition to that that would be four years in addition. So we do have to get this right. If slapping someone and hurling a racial epithet could get you 10 years in prison, this is exactly what we've been fighting about in criminal justice reform, that we set up a system, we didn't pay attention to the penalties, and all of a sudden things we didn't intend had happened. So Senator Rand Paul says we set up a system and we didn't pay attention to the outcome, and now all of a sudden things are happening. Where? All of a sudden? We set up a system and we didn't think about the consequences? First of all, who is this we that you're speaking of? Because we were not included in the conversation. We weren't even considered as people when this conversation took place. We were still slaves. We were looked at as cattle, as property, as three-fourths a person. So who is this we that you are speaking of? I know the we, you know the we. Every group knows the we, but we don't wanna say the we, do we? We never wanna say the we. The bottom line is, Senator Rand Paul, I don't respect your, that, that logic right there, I don't respect that because it doesn't make sense to me. That was one isolated event that you listed. Out of all of the lynchings, how many are how many are likely to be like that? How many people are likely to cry, she lynched me, if they get slapped? How many of the Karens are we gonna see in the world saying that we got lynched because they got slapped? Now on, on the point of it being vague, I definitely agree with you. I definitely agree with you and I, I know that you've been working with Senator Cory Booker on this for the last three months like you said. I paid very close attention to this bill. I, I believe you, I know that you are, but Instead of blocking it, why not offer more help? Why not offer more details, more clarification? Because the one aspect of this Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act that I do not agree with and can never agree with until it is set in stone is the punishment aspect. The bill is very vague. If you, have, if you haven't taken time to read it, definitely take time to read it. And if you don't want to read it, go watch a YouTube video about the, the new bill that Kamala Harris and Cory Booker are putting together and that's fine but the point is make yourself aware of this because this right here is going to be history in the making if it does pass now although it's passed in the the house already it's being blocked by the republican uh senator Rand paul who is republican it's being blocked but don't be so quick to jump on him as the reason why although his logic was off although his example was kind of left field let's let's make sure that we're taking what he's saying and, and giving it some value because he is right 
this bill is very vague and it's too vague. And when you have a bill, a vague bill that passes, you leave room for your own interpretation. And your interpretation of lynching may be very different from mine. Hence, Rand Paul's example. You understand what I'm saying? So details, 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 people, because the more you know, the better that you can do. So let's not judge. Let's not judge Rand Paul for what he's saying because he's actually not wrong in what he's saying. Now, if they come with the new bill and it's detailed and it says this, the punishment for lynching is such, such, and such, 10 years, you get more you get more time for murdering somebody. People I know who were selling weed got more time than if they were to lynch somebody, 10 years. So we need to make sure that the punishment fits the crime. And we need to make sure that whatever that punishment is, it is listed in detail so that way it cannot be misconstrued, misconcepted, used against us. We're the ones who created this and don't leave room for error so that way it can be used against us and later be detrimental. Because Senator Kamala Harris, you have done that in the past. With certain of your crime bills, you have done that in the past. That's, that's one other reason why you dropped out of the presidential campaign, because you thought that you were going to bank on the black vote, but you didn't remember that the black vote is not going to forget what you did out there while you were senator. The laws that you passed that allowed police officers to um, do extra policing in our community, our neighborhoods. You got behind that, not really fully understanding the details and how detrimental it was to your people. And then you tried to come back and bank on us and our vote. But thank God that there's people like me, Be Harmony, who's out here woke and who's going to tell my people what's going on. So make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share right now. I will definitely be making another video about this Robert Fuller investigation because we need to know what's going on. We don't have enough details. Do I believe that he killed himself? Do I believe they lynched him? My personal opinion has nothing to do with it. I want to know what the facts are. I don't care about this man's Robert Fuller's past history, what he went through, what he did. I'm not going to pull up a rap sheet like Candace Owens did for George Floyd. That will never be my intention. I will never do that. I'll, and even if he did commit suicide, I will still defend him to the death of me because he. we have a, a problem in our community with mental illness and recognizing that. And that'll be another video. So make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Instagram, Harmony Politics, Facebook, Harmony Politics as well. Um, go to harmonypolitics.com. Utilize the next the next screen that you guys are going to see. And just make sure that you guys are staying informed. Because if we don't have knowledge of self, if we don't know who we are as a people, and we're, we're filling our head with things that are not conducive to making our people better, then we can't apply anything. Because what we're applying is the wrong thing. Peace.